Hello, so now I will be starting with my task one that is TCP sync flooding attack. For that, I will be using three machines. One is my user machine, now which has an IP address of 10.0.2.6. And then uh, uh, the other is the server machine over here. It, uh, its IP address is 10.0.2.4. And then the last machine will be my attacker's machine right over here, uh, which IP ad address is 10.0.2.5. So to start with the, uh, to start with the task, uh, I will be first uh, checking my sin cookie connections, uh, if it's turned on or uh, off. For that, I will use this particular command over here. So it says that uh, our connect the sin cookie connections is on. So I will uh, first we will do the task. Uh, uh, first half we will do the task with the uh, the sin cookie connections turned off, and then later we will do the same task with by turning it on. So to turn it off, I will use this particular command. So now it's uh, successfully turned off the scene cookie connections. So now we will go to our user's machine. Here uh, I will connect, now connect my user machine to the server using telnet. So now I have successfully connected to my server. Uh, we can check uh, it in ifconfig. So here is my server's IP address. So basically, I I am I, I have uh, successfully connected to my server's uh, server's machine. Now we will again go to our server machine and check for our TCP uh, TCP connections. So for that, I will use a common net state minus TNA. Uh, so this will show all the ports. Uh, so here we can see that uh, all the ports are open to listen. Uh, only there is one connection established that is between our user and the uh, server. So now uh, we can uh, we will start our TCP scene flooding attack. For that, I, I will go to my attacker's PC and then uh, I will type in this particular command. So th uh, this is a networks command that uh, does the scene flooding attack in which this is this is supposed to be my uh, destination IP address where uh, this is the IP address of my server because I am attacking to my server and the port number uh, this is the port number which is the TCP port so the port number is 323 and this is the flag that we are using that is minus s row so now I will uh, start my attack. After starting our attack, I will again go to my uh, server's machine and try to uh, see the TCP connections again. So now we can see that there are many scene receive uh, connection uh, that we can see over here. Uh, Now I uh, so basically our our TCP connection is has been flooded with this uh, sync sync connections. So now I will uh, try to con uh, again connect my user machine to server using telnet. Let's see if it works. So here we can see that it's trying to connect to our server, but uh, eventually after uh, after trying for a couple of times, it will uh, fail the connection and then uh, shows that uh, the connection has been failed. So this shows that our uh, because our TCP uh, connection uh, TCP connection got uh, flooded with the scene scene request. So that's why we uh, the our user is unable to connect uh, to our server. So this shows that our uh, our uh, success our attack was uh, successful. Now we will uh, try this attack uh, by turning on our scene cookie. So let me first turn off my attack over here.
and uh, I will exit from my. So I will exit for uh, my connection over here from the because before I connected with Telnet. Okay. Now I will turn on my uh, my scene cookie connections. So the scene cookie connection is now on, which we can see over here. Now I will start. So now I will again go to my user machine and uh, try to connect to my uh, server's machine from there using Telnet. So So now again, I have uh, successfully connected my user machine from uh, to the server. Now I will go to my server's machine and then uh, uh, see the TCP connections again. Check for TCP connection. So again, we can see that there is uh, there is like the there are many ports open to listen, and only the connection establishes between our user and the server over here now we will start our attack again for that i will go to my attacker machine and type in the same command that we have wanted earlier and then uh, now i am starting the uh, attack now again uh, after starting the attack i am going to uh, go to my server's machine and uh, see for the tcp connection again Still, we are able to see the scene receive attack, but uh, uh, we will be able to connect to our from our user's machine to the server because uh, we have turned on the scene cookie connections now. So I will go to my user's machine and uh, try to connect to my telnet uh, to my server's machine using telnet. So I would now successfully connect to my uh, server again. Uh, we can see from using IF config over here. So as we can see, like here, we, I have my uh, server's IP address. So I am successfully connected to my server uh, server's machine. So that was task one. Thank you.